We have learned about the specific numbers by using the symbols 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 9 to represent them. We have been using symbols of operations of addition, plus, subtraction, minus, multiplication, cross and division, divide to do many arithmetical calculations. In arithmetic, the operations can always be performed whereas in algebra, many of these operations can only be indicated. Two specific numbers like 5 and 9 can always be added, but the sum of two general numbers like x and y can only be indicated as x plus y. Their sum cannot be known unless the values of x and y are known. In fact, algebra is only an extension of arithmetic and any principle or rule that can be used in algebra applies equally well in arithmetic. In this chapter, we will learn about Variable Solution of Equations Geometric Patterns It is a pattern of hexagons. Each hexagon is bigger than the one before. Here, one more matchstick is added to each side of each hexagon. It shows a number pattern with constant difference. It is a pattern of triangles. The pattern is made by adding a shape or part of a shape at each stage. Here, five matchsticks are added at each stage. It shows a number pattern with constant difference. Signs and symbols are the symbols for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division respectively. Addition. Addition of A and B means A plus B, A is increased by B, A is added to B. Subtraction. Subtraction of A and B, A minus B, A is diminished by B, B is subtracted from A. Multiplication. Multiplication of A and B means A into B, A is multiplied by B, A times B. The product of A and B. Sometimes a small dot placed between two quantities also serves as the multiplication sign. Division of A by B means A is divided by B, A over B, A upon B. Now let us write the following statements using numbers, literals and signs of basic operations. 8 more than a number x can be written as x plus 8, y less than 11 can be written as 11 minus y. The product of p and q can be written as p into q. 8 upon p can be written as 8 divided by p. Expressions with variables. We can write a word problem in the form of an expression. The most frequently used words for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are as follows. To understand well, consider these examples. Examples of variables from real life Vedika wants to buy stamps worth 5 rupees. If she wants to buy 16 stamps, then she must carry 5 times 16 rupees or 80 rupees to buy them. Similarly, if she wants to buy M stamps for any variable M, then she must carry 5 M rupees. Note that M can be 1, 2, 3, etc. Now, Raj and Sheila are two students. Sheila scored 10 marks more than Raj. If Raj scored 20 marks, Sheila scored 30 marks. If he scored 40, she scored 50. So we can say Sheila's marks equals Raj's marks plus 10. Thus, if Raj scores X marks, Sheila scores X plus 10 marks. As another example, a plumber's call-out charges are 100 rupees and he then charges an additional amount of 25 rupees per hour. Mr. Harris calls plumber services for his bathroom. 
If plumber works for one hour, then he charges hundred rupees plus one times twenty-five. That is one hundred and twenty-five rupees. For two hours, the charges are a hundred plus two times twenty-five. That is a hundred and fifty rupees. If the plumber works for eight hours, then the charges are a hundred rupees plus twenty-five h. Here, h can be one, two, three, etc.